hi and welcome back to my channel today i want to talk more about self-awareness as it relates to accepting yourself in particular i'm speaking to women and when you are in relationship with your boyfriend or your husband and just dealing with men in general how you interact and what it shows you about yourself as a woman as you're growing and evolving especially if you grew up in a single parent household and you did not have the example of what it looks like to be a feminine woman you may be more used to seeing a woman who has to be in more of the masculine um, because of her role, you know, having to be the leader in the home, having to work all the time, being under stress, the list can go on. So when you grow up in certain environments, of course, naturally, you're going to adapt those same behaviors, those same qualities. So this is, this I, I want to talk about the shame that surrounds that type of woman, the shame of perhaps her not being feminine enough or being, you know, too rough around the edges. Of course, I am one for accountability. I'm always um, working to self-improve and I always encourage others to first look at yourself and you want to be working to be your best self. So if there is something in you that's so combative, if you're having issues getting along with the opposite um, the opposite sex, you know, if you're having issues in general, getting along with people, just relationships in general, and you're seeing that's consistent, then it's time to look at yourself. So we're all here on the human journey, you know, changing and growing. And in that process, it's so important to accept where you are and love yourself through the changes because punishing ourselves or being ashamed you know it's it's really not helping anything and it can be like a cycle that just turns into depression very unhealthy so back to this type of woman and I love YouTube, as I've said before, and I'm very interested in learning more about relationships. And there's a term being used, which is a chameleon, which is what is defined as like fake femininity. It's something that they say, um, it comes and goes. The woman is a chameleon if she's not submissive all the time, if she's not in her feminine energy all the time. And to me, this is, it's really not genuine. It's not accurate in de describing a woman because first of all, we have to remember we all have both the feminine and masculine energies and therefore one part that one side of us may be displayed more than the other depending on the situation which is natural just like an actual chameleon in the in nature right they're going to 
adjust to their environment <laughs> it's not it's not right or wrong it just is depending on the circumstances and if they're sensing a threat they're going to adjust to defend themselves it's like a defense mechanism similarly the feminine woman she has that part of her that masculine part of her that can defend herself as well yes it can be reflected with the men around her that can come to the rescue speak on her behalf but we are made to where we have a portion of that masculine energy within ourselves and it actually takes courage to use that part of ourselves and defending our own feminine and keeping that part of ourselves safe so when a woman displays that what is called a masculine side or she seems aggressive or more um, assertive or um, energetic like um, more hype I guess you can say because the feminine is known to be more docile really um, soft spoken so and when you're comparing those two it can make it seem as though Ooh, you know there's something wrong here but it's actually just natural it's it's sensing the energy the interactions when you're dealing with another person and the safer that you feel you're naturally going to be able to show more of your softer side you're going to be more vulnerable but if you're sensing that is not safe you will have to bring out that other part of you as a defense mechanism to protect because you're sensing oh there's danger here right so if you're having a conversation with someone for example you may notice there's a good flow and if there's somehow some type of um stopping in that flow or someone gets offended and they you know they kind of shut down they you know become more reserved that could be a trigger for them something something happened and so to have that defense mechanism you got to kind of shield you got to you know you some people might argue they may um offend or try and insult you you know just to get that pressure off or get the eyes off of them there's so many ways that this can play out but the main point is knowing that this is um, part of the human experience and a woman as she continues to grow and evolve learns emotional intelligence that's the goal really you know hopefully the woman will learn emotional intelligence to where she can really sense the change she knows when something has changed so she'll be able to control her responses a lot better instead of it being like an outburst or an argument where it could have been avoided right so depending on who you're interacting with like if it is a man like a masculine man who is in that energy and he he he's gonna have a a different way of dealing with a woman um he he's he's not going to be easily moved emotionally because of how she's responding or how she's displaying her herself he's going to be able to be firm and that is so important because when that man is able to hold that frame then the woman is she's going to be able to see that differently especially when it's consistent 
because you know you're going to begin to know that it's safe it's safe to chill out you know and especially for anyone right in any relationship when one person is more composed it forces the person who's out of control they have to look at themselves there's no one else to look at you know (laughs) if you're the only one loud and acting crazy you're gonna have to look at yourself and that's the goal you hope to be self-aware enough and not just blame the other person all the time so really it's about accepting where you are being aware of where you are how you interact with others and the dynamics of the feminine and the masculine energies within us and really getting control over it is so powerful and once you understand that part then you know we can we use that to our advantage you know we're able to uh just like again that the actual chameleon in nature is able to turn something one way and go back to another way in an instant and i i think that it's not necessarily negative thing that a woman is able to be more softer in one instance and then suddenly more more hard you know especially depending on her environment in which she was raised that is actually a great skill it's a very great skill that um once you gain control of it you can really use it and be very powerful and it's only particular people who are able to to see will be able to see that as a skill and of course it is the woman's responsibility with how she uses it so i think it's just something for us to think about and when we judge people when we judge what a feminine woman is supposed to look like we want to put it in a little box and really there's so much more to it and and really um as the discussions continue i really enjoy them it helps us to find more words to describe it and many of us will be able to then relate there was the particular interview I saw, I saw with April Mason and the Wall Street Trapper. And I'll try to find the clip, see if I can input it here. But the way she articulated her going between the two energies and it, I just I resonated with it so much because it was a great point and I was able to relate in 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 how, when I experience moments like that in dealing when I'm around certain people different type of people when I feel more safe and more open and more vulnerable versus when I feel as though I have to be on alert I have to be more Um, closed off and and on guard so to speak so these are things that I feel as though it's important for us to look at and really understand in order for us to evolve and really grow into the fullness of ourselves so that's about it um I hope you enjoyed this little snippet, this little topic, and I'll see you next time. Talk to you next time.